Hey there, refurbers and scruffy looking nerf herders. It's me, scruffy looking RGB. If you're new to the channel, I take you on retro game hunting and retro game modding adventures from here in Japan. If that's something you enjoy, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I bring you new retro game related content from Japan every week. Today is a special day because we're outside of our usual Tokyo area and we've taken a little trip down to Shizuoka Prefecture, home to Mount Fuji, as well as many other beautiful sites. We have come to check out the Shizuoka Surugaya flag store. If you're not familiar with Surugaya, it's a huge chain of stores here in Japan that sell games, toys, cards, plastic models, and more. They sell both new and used items. They also purchase items too. It's quite similar to a hard-off or book-off, but it's more centered around the various hobbies such as anime, plastic models, Warhammer, Pokemon cards, games, and most importantly, retro games. I'm very excited to see what they have for us because Surugaya on the whole tends to have some good deals, especially if we're comparing to eBay prices and the rest of the world. So let's get scruffy looking. Very expensive PlayStation game, starting with with Gepi X for thirty four thousand yen. Below that, we have an adventure game called Prisoner for twenty six thousand. We'll have to take a look at that. And um, it's a role playing Monsta race. Chewing. I'm not sure what that is, but that's the second time I've seen it as of recently. It's thirty six thousand eight hundred yen. Chewing. It's a shooting game. You drive you ride vacuum cleaners. I might have seen somebody talk about that recently. We got Lane here, 118,000. Wow. What else is in here? Kuru Kuru Maru Maru. 3,000 for that. Gekibo for the PS2 ride in three. Ages. Whole lot of PlayStation games here as well. Just taking a look at the Rockman. I like the Rockman series on the PlayStation as well. It's a good version. We got the Wu Tang Clan coming at you. Watch your step, kid. Watch your step. 5,200. Rockman X3. We have Rockman 3. 2,600. Got Gambare Goemon for the PlayStation 1900. Uh, very good set of games on the PlayStation. A more 3D like one. I think I prefer this one. It's more like a traditional 2D platformer with 3D elements, I believe. What is this? Grandal Action. That looks pretty cool, like a cool uh, platformer. 9,900. What is this? Piku Piku Sentaro. Cute little rabbit game. There's a hue card snuck in here. What is this? We've got Sada Ichi Seven Ban. Hiyoshi no Ogon by Hudson Soft. It's an adventure game. I don't look at Dreamcast very much, but uh, we got JoJo's Miona Boken for 5,400. There's like stacks of them, six of them. 
to be exact. Capcom versus SNK. Two. 51,000 for that. Ikaruga. That was the name I was searching for earlier when I saw the DS game. It was Ikaruga. It looked like Ikaruga, but I don't think it is. Whew. Advanced. Vampire Hunter. Gunbird. And Parodius Da Deluxe Pack. This might be worth picking up. I'd like to have a really good version of uh, Parodius on a CD-based game, and I don't. That's not a bad deal. There's 4,300 for this one. The Deluxe Pack is supposed to be really good. Gunbird is also really good. I think I have a version of Gunbird on the Switch. With another game that I picked up. Was it Sengoku Ace? That's a great shooter as well. It's really expensive on the Saturn right now though. On the Psycho Shooters Collection too. N64 usually isn't my thing, but I'm going to check these out for the homie at 4 a.m. Laundry, he enjoys his uh, N64 collection, so I'm going to check these out. Um, what else do we got here? We, we speed down to this section here. We've got uh, the Twin Stars, is I believe it's called. Star Twins. 4,200 for that. I'm sure he has that one already. I have seen that one go for cheaper in the past. We have a few Goemon titles here. The most important one is this one right here. And yeah, it's pretty expensive. 7,800. Um, this is the best one on the N64. A nice action game. But 7,800 is a little too much for me. I'll put that one back. Here's Excite Bike 64. 2,500. What else do we have? J League Sim City. What is this? Shadowgate 64. 6,300. Rockman 7. That is a Super Famicom game. It would be cool if they had a. Ooh. Here we've got Pod Racer for 2,000. I could use a Pod Racer um, box. Well, what is this? Pod Racer. It's a very jacked one that's very jacked up. There's another pod racer. 1,200. It's not in as good a quality, though. All right. Derby Stallion, Zelda. We've got Smash Brothers down here. 4,200. What is this? Vol... Bio Men's Killer. Violence Killer. A Turok, the new generation. Okay. T new Turok game. What is this? Bomberman. Okay. Banjo and Kazooie. I wonder if... Uh, wow, 1,200 yen for that. It's a pretty good price. Actually, I don't know. 4,300 for Banjo and Kazooie Tui. All right. Tetris. Oh, we've got Choto Q64. 1900 yen for that. Oh, they've got uh, Akuma Joe Dracula here for 4300. I think I saw a cheaper one up here for 3200. I don't know how good this game is, but it sounds like a very affordable Akuma Joe Dracula game. I don't know how good it is, though. Then should they go for 2,100? Uh, anything else? There's Pachinko there. 
Which Pachinko is this? I don't know. We've got Super Robo Tyson, 3,600 yen. It's a very cool looking box though. This is, oh, an expensive one. Look at that. 3,000, 35,000. I know this was an, what is it? Geta Rab. So a dating game. Okay. More going on. Not the good one. Top Gear Rally. Racing game. Probably pretty cool. Some N64s in there. Every Game Boy Color you can imagine. GameCube controllers. Game Boy cameras. DS's. Famicom colorways. They even have some 2DS LL, the Pikachu one. 30,000. Wow, 3DS new 30,000 30, for that as well. There's the elusive Star Soldier. Still want to get that for the N64. She ran. Since we are in the display case, I got a question in the comments asking how can I say. Can I see a game in this play case, please? Sumimasen. Kesu no naka no game o mitain desu. In other words, excuse me, I'd like to see a game in the display case. I hope this little phrase comes in handy for those of you still learning Japanese. Let me know how it works. And if you'd like to know any other game hunting related phrases, let me know down in the comments. All right, back to the hunt. Uh, gun. Star Heroes, which is a really fast paced shoot 'em up. Really tough though. I'm horrible at that game. Spider Man, Juo Chuki, Ajuoki, excuse me, Altered Beast, Monopoly, Storm Lord. That looks like a cool action game. Strider. What is this? Panic Force. That's some really cool artwork. It's a shooter. Interesting. It's kind of like a um, Harrier type view viewpoint. I'm not as big of a fan as those with those as vertical or horizontal shooters, but it might be good. Interesting game there. What is it? Hyokori Hyotan. Shima Daitoryo o Mezase. They do have a modest junk section. 11,800 for this pretty white Famicom. I'll, I'll give it that. But uh, I'll pass on that. Super Famicom. Um, Bomberman. Uh, four person tap. Some uh, disk system adapters for 1700 which isn't a bad price at all. This is the textured version. I know there is a difference between these. The textured one or the untextured one is the one that you can't do the mod where you can uh, copy over disks. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is at the moment off the top of my head. This is a cool little uh, hori pad I've been looking at for a while now. Oh, not such a bad deal on N64's loose 2700. We've got the game case for the Super Famicom 35. Oh, it's got something in there. Junk Super Famicoms are 2900. And uh, how much is this mini Famicom uh, Super Famicom? 11,000. A real Super Famicom in the box is 9,900. All right. A nice blue controller. It's very clean, 2,600. For the Super Famicom, 
I have one of these at home, but not in this kind of good condition. I got it from the flea market. 4800 for that. The Wii U in the box. Oh, we have a Famicom in the box for 11800 I wonder if it's that one that was up there. No, it feels like there's one in here too, so... Okay. And look at what we have. We've got not one, but two power gloves, or PAX power gloves, as they're called here. 10,000 for the power glove. I used to have this. Wonder what happened to it. It was, if I still had it, it would still be pristine because I barely used that thing. If you actually used your power glove and it worked well, please let me know about it. I would definitely like to know if anybody actually got good use out of their power gloves. 9,300 for the Game Boy Advanced add-on for the... comes with the software too. There's another one. Here's an orange one. 15,000. Lots of various controllers and whatnot. Looks like they're selling just boxes. Guaman 2 is 2400 Wow, I remember when you could get the g complete game for that. They have Guaman 1's manual in there. Hmm, I wonder if they have any PC Engine stuff. This is a cool uh, manual for a Famicom game called uh, Juvie Quest. Yo, they got a, a North American Mortal Kombat Genesis box. Just the box. And they're selling the manual <laughs> separately. They have a bubble bobble. I think this is the manual for the disk system game. 900 yen. I'm kind of thinking about grabbing that because I do have bubble bobble, I just don't have the manual. Surugaya has a nice free play arcade section here, which was a real treat to see, and they got a sweet collection of games on tap for you to play to rotate the games in the machines. According to what's popular at the time, let's take a look. Twin B, Moonwalker, Vampire, Savior 2, and it's free play. Yes, please. Some MVS games here too. Metal Slug 3 for 32,000. This is the giant wall of Super Famicom games. It's magnificent. We've got Super Mario Kart for 2,700 yen. Darius Twin, 5,700 yen. Uh, Bonk here. Cho Genjin for 6,100 yen. Anything of interest? Here we've got Ebisu Maru, 2,800. How much is Yoshi's Island? 2,000 for this really jacked up box. We've got Rockman 7 for. 9,300 and a Rockman X 6,700. Rockman versus Forte for 15,000. Parodius for 8,300. Street Fighter 2 for 2,700. Poppin Twin B for 3,800. Batman Returns for, whoa, 7,600. Oh boy, things have changed. Something that really surprised me at this Suragaya is the fact that they had quite a bit of retro PCs. To find these complete and in working order is quite rare. While you can find these at hard offs from time to time, they're not usually complete like this, and are definitely not on display and up and running. There's a place in Akihabara called Beep that usually has some on display, but it is very cramped in there, and this place has much more space. 
I felt very privileged to get to see these up close and running. Check it out. Look at this retro PC. It's a PC 6100, 22,000 yen. It is very non-clicky, but very soft and smooth and buttery. Look at this sharp MZ80K2E. It's looking mighty fine with its tape recorder. Oh, that's it, the X1, the X1 Sharp, very cool. Look at that, Sharp X1D, here we go. Impeccable shape, it's got the, the manual everything. 40,000 yen, look at that burgundy S color, love it. We've got the NEC PC881FA, man, you don't see these. Over here we've got the MSX Pasopia IQHX10D. It even has Gradius in it. A great version of Gradius. Where's the power for this? There it is. Power on. Yes! Konami software. Look at how smooth. Gradius. Yes! Can't believe I'm doing this one-handed. A bunch of soundtracks. CD Theater Dragon Quest IV. Very cool looking things I've never seen before. Chrono Trigger soundtrack. Original sound version. 1700. That seems like a pretty good deal for that. And we've got Dragon Quest 6 soundtrack. Dragon Quest 2 soundtrack. Those are pretty cool. 3,900. What is this? Dai no Daiboken. A fun I no Tema. I don't know what this game is. It looks interesting though. And another Dragon Quest Native American-esque artwork there. 2200. It's the fourth floor's break area. They have card games and Warhammer playing area. And then they sell the games and the Warhammer on this floor as well. Okay, here's my pickup. Uh, I'm gonna take this home. This is Fudo Myo Den. This is a old-school Famicom game. So look at the beautiful cartridge art it's got on there. Looks really, really nice. Uh, it's a nice game. I love it. And I just realized that I think this is only the box. So I do have the game at home. So we'll check it out at home. Fudo Myo Den is a cool hack and slash platformer known as Demon Sword in North America. There were some slight aesthetic changes made to the HUD display at the bottom of the screen with a life and power bar, which is absent from the Japanese version. And it's a bit easier to read the power up collection counters. The Japanese power ups are also much smaller on the screen. Folks in North America are missing out on a few of the levels and even some of the cool cutscenes. There's also a difference in the title screen and the title screen music as well. You decide which one you like better. Not to mention the insanely awesome box art. It has everything I love about Japan. The esoteric Buddhist art of Fudo Myo mixed in with a Famicom game. What is there not to like? I mean, just look at that cover. I think I got a pretty good deal, all things considered. 1100 yen for the box coupled with my previously picked up 300 yen cart. I'm still missing the manual, but it's possible I'll find one eventually. I'll have to say I really enjoyed this Surugaya flagship store. I'd say the prices were for the most part better than Akihabara prices, which was nice to see. And I think it follows the golden rule, which is the farther away from Akihabara, the better the deals. We're really close to the station, so it's not quite hard off deals, but the sheer number and selection of games is just astounding. I was here for a good four hours, but could have easily spent another four hours searching through all the games and still not have seen everything. I think this place is well worth a visit. If you're planning being in and around the station here with some time to kill, definitely check it out. Did you find any new games to add to your wish list? Let me know down in the comments. 
If you missed the first part of this flagship Surugaya game hunt, it will be linked in the comments below. There are a few more videos that I plan to release from this visit, specifically for the Famicom and PC Engine. So if you enjoy those, stay tuned for more in the near future. Until then, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it or it helped you out in any way. If you're interested in going the extra mile in helping out the channel, consider becoming a channel member, where you'll get to see videos before they're publicly released, member-only videos, and other cool perks like badges next to your name and the use of scruffy-looking RGB icons during live and premiere chats. Not to mention it helps keep my video equipment and software up to date so I can provide you with all the best quality videos possible. Thank you all again for hanging out with me on today's adventure. Remember, stay safe, but above all, stay scruffy-looking. Who's scruffy looking?